In AKS networking, we have a rule that states that we should not have any overlapping between the pod cider, service cider, VNet of the cluster, and any period network. Let's learn in this Lightboard session about these different CIDR ranges, how they are used, and how we can avoid those overlapping. So with AKS, I would have my nodes. Let's say here I have this uh, node, and of course I can have one or multiple nodes. So let's represent that here. Within these nodes, or those nodes themselves, they will be attached to a virtual network or to a VNet into, from our cluster. So that means that here I would have the VNet for my AKS cluster. And from that VNet, I might have one dedicated uh, subnet for the pods or for the nodes themselves. And those nodes could be attached to these subnets. So each node would have its own IP address. It will consume a private IP address. And the same for the third node. Within the nodes, we would have our containers deployed or our pods. So we might have one or multiple pods. Let's represent them like here, pod one, pod two, and pod three. Each pod have a unique IP address within my cluster. That IP address could be either an IP address from the subnet, if we are using the Azure uh, CNI plugin. So I represent it here with like this. So they will consume IP address from the same VNet of the uh, cluster. So this case is the case for Azure uh, CNI. Each pod would have a specific IP. So again, here I would write if CNI plugin. Now, if I'm not using CNI and I'm using, for example, Azure CNI overlay or the KubeNet network, then I would have another CIDR range that is defined for my pods that is called the pod CIDR. So I would have an overlay network. This is my overlay network that is defined within the AKS cluster itself and it would have its own pod uh, CIDR. Let's write it here. So this overlay network would be used by the pods. So the pods would have unique IP addresses in this uh, overlay network each pod would have one. And I'll write here, this is uh, applicable only if using KubeNet or if using CNI overlay or CNI overlay. The third CIDR range that will be consumed by my cluster is the one that will be used for the services. Yes, here I have pods, but I want to expose these pods either internally or externally. And for both cases, I should use the services. So I would create service resources within my cluster. And we know that each service have a unique IP address. That IP address will be consumed from another overlay network within my cluster that is specific for the services. So I would have here another overlay network that is specific for the service range or for the service uh, uh, CIDR, sorry. It's have a, it, it does have its own uh, CIDR range and all the services will go to consume IP addresses from this uh, overlay network. So when we create a new AKS cluster, either using the command line, Terraform, ARM, BICEP, we should specify those different CIDR ranges. So we would have a CIDR range for the pods or for the VNet, first of all. Then we would have another CIDR for the uh, service or for the pod actually, pod CIDR, which is this network right here. And then we would have another one for the service. So let's write service CIDR. And the rule here is that we should not have any overlay between the pod CIDR, service CIDR, VNet CIDR. And also another one that might be forgotten by our customers is that here this VNet could be in peering with another VNet, or it could be connected to the on-premise. So if I have here another VNet that is peered, so that would be applicable for this golden round. So if I have a peered network, 
then all of these ranges should not overlap. So this means the union or the actually the join of all of these side ranges should be equal the empty element. I'm not allowed to have any overlap between these side ranges. So this means that here for an AKS cluster, I should have a unique side range for the VNet, unique side range for the period networks, unique side range for the service and unique one for the pod if I'm using kubenet or CNI overlay. But that means again that I'm still consuming lots of IP addresses. I want to optimize uh, those uh, IPs. So what we can use here is that we can say if I have more than one cluster, I can reuse some side ranges. And the ones I'm allowed to reuse are the side ranges for the service and also for the pods. So for these two resources, they could be reused across multiple clusters. So I can have cluster one, two, and three reusing the same side range for the pods and for the services. So this, be, this could be reused in many AKS uh, clusters because those side ranges are only addressable from within the AKS cluster itself. So another AKS cluster could not reach the service IP of another cluster or it cannot reach the pod IP from an overlay network. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.